Hello everybody, I'm the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Escapist. Starting very late in the process today, I have gone back to the start of day 16, I have acquired all the bits and pieces, there is actually a dummy in the bed this time. Again, much like our first escape attempt, we did it well, but there was just one tiny detail that threw the whole thing off. So I'm currently next door to the generator, which is now turned off, and I'm pretty sure that every single one of these knives is going to be enough to get through the fence. A lot of people said last time that I should have combined my files to make like a, a sharper one or something, but I don't know if that would have worked to get through the fence, but I'm pretty certain that five knives uh, is going to work. And if it does, then that means we're going to be done with this prison and we can move on to another brand new one today. And the average of uh, five episodes per prison is going to be strong. Come on, 52%. I'm already onto the second knife. This is good. This is really good. So with three knives, this is almost guaranteed to work. What was that sound? Is the generator back on? I don't want to slash in case I get electrocuted. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. Let me just go inside of here. Oh, my God. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I thought Turpin was going to catch us. All right, turn it off again. So, I'm just keeping it right for that noise. Otherwise, I'm going to get myself zapped. And I'm never going to escape from this prison. I just got to get faster with the cutting. It might require one more switch off of the generator. And it should just be enough for our key. Although... Oh, my fatigue is getting up. No, my fatigue is at 8%. Oh, but we've got two knives and 8%. This is totally, totally doable. Let's try one more cut before the fatigue. There you go. I reckon one more cut and we're out of here, aren't we? Let me look at this. Oh, yeah, look at that, 4%. This is the next cut and we're escaping. Let's just hope they don't find my dummy before it's too late. Come on. No, it's gone off again, the generator. God damn it. <laughs> Come on. Officer Tom's gone in there to check on it. Okay, turn it off. All right, final slash. The fatigue is down. We have the knives. We're going to cut through the fence. And then we're just going to leg it. And we're free. Yes, we are free from Winter Cell Prison. Overall score of 700. I think that was the same as last time. Although our average heat was 20%, which is actually 20% higher than it was before. It's 20% cooler. Oh, that's a pony, snowy, and game pun all mixed into one. And it looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, right, let's move on to the next prison. So let's find out what the name of the next prison is going to be, or at least the, like, the pseudo name. We're obviously, we're going to have our own name chosen after we have a little tour around our brand new prison cell and our brand new campus, which is originally titled, oh my god, the Shankton State Pen. <laughs> wow, the SSP. I'd like it, actually, if when you choose a name for this prison, make it spell something out. I know there's not a great deal you can spell out with three letters, but it could be, like, dog, cat, yog... Something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. But anyway, let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How many cellmates? Holy crap. Right, hold on. So that's clearly Simon. We're going to go through and we're going to have... Oh, wait. Simon's already taken. Of course it is. We're going to use all of the names that have previously been inside of the prison. And any that are left over, I'm going to fill with some of the new ones that I sourced from Twitter earlier today. Toby, Simon, Zoe, Shin, Ross, Smith, Trot, Duncan, Sparkle, Sips, Parvis, and also Rithian as well. Right, time for the new inmates and their list of crimes. Our first one uh, is Noxai. So Noxai is inside of here because he has been caught kidnapping. Joffrey once again and putting him inside of that mental torture chamber that he likes to call a home. So Noxite is inside of the prison. Next up, we've got Strippin. Uh, he actually asked to be inside the prison. <laughs> and apparently his crime is for being too damn handsome. So there you go. Strippin is now arrested. This is probably one of my favorite ones that was suggested. Community manager for the Yogg's cast, Tom Perkins. So Perkins came to visit me in prison um, and he failed to tell me that he was bringing in some tools and he brought them in through his little beard. And the moment that he went through those detectors 99% heat and the cops sniped him and there are people probably wondering why I've not put you me and not me inside of the prison this time around it was just it was just too confusing so I've decided instead that we're gonna have a different duo that a lot of people wanted me to put in we have got Danny and we have Aaron the grumps are thrown in prison and the only reason that anybody gave I had a lot of people suggest them but only one reason why they should be in prison and that was we're playing bad games occasionally <laughs> that, that was it and I think actually what might be quite nice is this guy here reminds me of Ninja Brian. Ninja Brian, Star Bomb, Ninja Sex Party is in there as well and that leaves one last prisoner. And this last one was just really just generally people being butthurt. Um, just for jealousy reasons most likely but they wanted to see Mr. PewDiePie. Felix is in the prison for 
said reasons. And now we come to the officers. There is a buttload of them. So we're going to have all of the previous officers returning. We've got Officer Brinley. We've got Officer Turpin. We've got Offsbods. Where is he? Offsbods. Who else did we have? Oh, Officer Lane. We had Officer Lane in there before. Officer Tom was the last one as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was the first prison guard that I ever beat up and actually successfully won against. <laughs> so there we go. Those are the five guards from Winter Cell Prison. So we have got five brand new ones to a point. Now, who are we going to pick? Oh, I completely forgot Dan. Dan Nerdcubed. I forgot about you. You can now be a officer, I guess. <laughs> He's a reformed convict who is now protecting our streets and our prison cells, apparently. I quite like the idea of keeping Officer Lee as he is. Let's, let's have Officer Lee. Let's have Officer Chan. And let's have Officer Diesel for Vin Diesel. This is going to be a really tough prison to get out of. And the last one, of course, has got to be Officer Neeson. Oh, yes. Well, there we go. That is everything all set up. And we're going to spend our first morning inside of our brand new prison yet to be named. So welcome to the Shankton State Pen, your new home for the foreseeable future. Since I've been warden, we've had a few daring escapists among us, but they were promptly scooped back up and punished. No one escapes on my watch, so don't get any ideas. If you forget any of the rules around here, the guards' batons will only be too glad to remind you. Warden Sparrow. Right, okay. Oh my god, yeah. I guess I kind of instantly forgot how many cellmates there actually were. This prison is going to be massive, isn't it? It's going to be really, really freaking huge. But anyway, let's go to the morning roll call. I reckon today will be a fairly unedited episode. Typically, when we have our first day inside of a prison, we tend to literally play it through minute by minute and second by second, just so we can start to spec the place out. This lineup is huge. Oh my god, who's getting cell searched? Stripping and Rhythian. Okay, right. Well, let's find out who is selling what then. Uh, you had a mission for me, didn't you? So Sips wants to teach somebody a lesson during morning roll call. Do I dare do that real quick? A knocks out has stolen a roll of toilet paper from Rhythian. All right, well, let's do it. Let's punch you. There you go. Oh, 90%. Wow. 99%. Okay. Okay. They do not take any crap inside of this prison. <laughs> wow. Is it because of the security cameras as well? Do I literally just have, like, nowhere to hide? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Is this the shower block? Okay, that's the shower block. Let's just let's, let's map this place out. So this is breakfast. I do wonder if they're going to come after me. Wow, that is a massive kitchen as well, isn't it? I'm just going to sit in the middle here. No, come on. I just wanted to have some Pop-Tarts. Leave me alone. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right. I'm just going to have to keep on running then. There are some utility doors that actually go behind each cell. I don't know if that'll be any use to us. And there is an outdoors area. God knows when we're actually going to get out of here. Right, I tell you what, I'm going to dump my comb and I'm just going to let them knock me out. No, wait, 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 wait. Wow, he was really weak. He only did one damage. Oh, he did six though. <laughs> okay, right, we're back to zero. Let's go to breakfast. That wasn't a, a remotely a good start to the day. We need to play it a lot cooler here. Oh, so I'm the janitor. Okay. Digging it, digging it. I don't know where the hell I report to, though. Oh, here. All right, cool. Oh, my God. All right, we got bleach, plungers, and brooms, and mops. Oh, my God. I need one of everything. The place looks clean, doesn't it? Like The, the place looks fine to me. Doesn't like anything's really gone on majorly. Oh, Felix is already down. Felix, Felix, Felix. And there's also a mission here as well. Grab the guard's attention at the next evening meal. He has a debt to settle. Poor, poor PewDiePie. He's already been knocked out cold. <laughs> anyway, let's say hello to Smith and to Danny as well. Uh, oh, I've just realised actually probably getting those pills wasn't the best idea. Because it means that I can't really go anywhere. I might as well just drop them. I don't think I have any major use for them. I'll leave them there. They might trace it back to me, but I don't know. What's Duncan selling? Duncan is always like the top dog in these prisons, isn't he? Ah, I can use a mop. There you go. There's Warden Sparrow wandering about. Somebody said as well that I should be able to attack the Warden if I have somebody walking around with me. I don't think that's the case because I have to actually attack them to begin with for my roommate or my friend to actually want to do it as well. Oh my god, Felix is down again. <laughs> wow. He is getting Getting seriously picked on inside of this prison. Uh, some timber. Ooh, maybe I will take that. Yeah, let's take the timber. The timber's usually good because maybe digging out of this prison is going to be our only option. I don't like those cameras. I don't know what kind of role they play. You might have to tell me what to be wary of, okay? So, just so I know. Uh, job board. Anything available? No. So same as before, there's laundry, kitchen, wood shop, metal shop, and janitor. There's no, there's no garden in this one, is there? No, no gardening this time around. Okay. Uh, Officer Neeson. I'm not going to mess with any officers just yet. I'm just going to say maybe for now. 
I am nowhere close to uh, to finishing my thing, by the way. <laughs> to finishing my job quota. What's Tom stashing in his beard today? Oh, a crafting note. Ah, uh, yes. Why not? What did we learn? Cup of molten chocolate. Oh, for God's sake. I already knew that one. Can I go out there? I can go out there. Oh, brilliant. But I can't go any further than that. So there's a fence, and then there's a solid wall. So I wonder how hard that wall is going to be to get through. Oh my god, this place does go on, doesn't it? Jesus. That fence doesn't look like you could cut through it. So I am going to have to go out through these walls, or maybe dig, un dig under them. They kind of strike me as walls that go all the way to the bottom, though. So maybe I'm not going to risk that. There's Officer Brinley. Whoa, he got buff since the last prison. Wow. 68 strength and 71 speed. Oh, I've lost my job straight away. Fantastic. There's an afternoon roll call. Are you serious? I don't think that's really necessary, is it? Anything we can do an afternoon roll call that's going to help us out. Roll a toilet paper from Noxi and an evening distraction. Sips wants a file. Ah, Officer Dan, though. I'll leave that as a maybe for now. Uh, you're not friends with Aaron, are you? It'd be in everyone's best interest if he ain't shit, says Ross. Uh, <laughs> sure, I can try and beat a Baron. Oh, wait, there's midday cell searchers. Oh, wow, okay. That is new, isn't it? Yeah, we, we've never been checked, only in the evenings and the mornings. But now it's in the middle of the day as well. That means I've basically just got to always keep things on me, or at least keep them in the toilet. I wonder if they check the toilets in this prison. It seems like the kind of prison where they might do. Uh, wire, hammer, magazine, lighter. Ah, the lighter might be good to have. Because it's... Oh, I've not got enough money. The lighter's good because I can use that to make the key plastics and all that sort of stuff. Look at the groovy music. So I just, like, stopped mid-sentence. It's got like, this heavy, kind of, like, guitarish lick about it. Let me see if I can get my job back. Because it's probably going to be best for me if I have a job. Oh, metal shop. Yeah, I work in the metal shop. 70 intellect. Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, well let's work out where to get intellect up then, because we haven't seen that yet. Oh, here we go, library. Perfect, okay. So that's how you do this one then. There we go, we got 30 intellect. Thought I'd just get that up a tiny bit, just for the meanwhile. So this down here must be the gym, I'm assuming. Uh, we've got training. Oh, it's like a speed bag. Oh, so you kind of like punch the bag. Oh, I have to press Q every time the thing moves into it. Obviously I'll move the face cam so you can see this, just once. But there's basically a bar that goes up in the bottom left corner of the screen, which usually shows if your like pace is high enough in your running or if your push-ups are working. But now I just sort of have to hit it in each gap. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that one. So already my speed has gone up to 34. Good times. And then, as always, a nice bit of lifting. Good bit of lifting. I'll get stripping to spot me. This will be awesome. Let's get our strength up just a little bit. I want to get my 20 HP like we normally do. Although there may well be an exercise period that's coming up. So that's the gym. We know the intellect, so we know how to get all three of our stats up. Um, obviously, the afternoon or the evening meal, should I say, is here. Evening meal at 4 o'clock. That's like an hour earlier than the other prison. Like, that's technically, that's, that's more like brunch territory, isn't it? I wouldn't call that dinner or lunch. It's very, very in between. Is he eating dinner whilst knocked out, or is there somebody beneath him and he's just sat on him whilst he's, like, whilst he's dining? Ooh, a baton might be good to buy. But I just don't have any money. I really need to start getting some jobs done. Let's have a look in Noxite's locker. Let's see what we can do with that. Right, here we go, cool. Right, let's work out where Noxite lives. Unoccupied desk. Hello. Does that just open straight away then? Ooh, there's a free crafting note and duct tape. Hello. I'm digging this unoccupied thing. Uh, super sock mace. Wow. A battery and a sock. I like the idea of that. Right, let's get down to exercise period then. And Felix again. <laughs> Felix is the new Simon. Not only is the jealousy coming through on the tweets, it's also coming through in the prison as well. Oh, no. I brought the file in straight away like an absolute muppet. Like a total, total buffoon. God damn it. Hold on a second. I'm just going to drop it in this toilet here. And hopefully when they knock me out, I'll be able to run back and grab those. All right. Come here, officer. Knock me out. There you go, Officer Neeson. I will find you. And I will send you to the infirmary. There you go. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. 38%. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's get over to the shower block. I'm surprised the shower isn't closer to the... Oh, come on. I thought everyone was going into that room. Phaser set to stun, are you kidding me? Oh my god, no! Lost a file and duct tape, god damn it. 
I just, I just, I'm so engaged in trying to work out where these bloody rooms are. Like, I saw everybody at this door, and I was like, great, let's all go in. Look at this sausage fest. Fucking hell. <laughs> like, what is going on in here? Officer Turpin. No, I'm not beating up officers. God damn it. Officer Nisa. No. And Felix again. Everybody's got beef with Felix. This time it's Sparkles and who else? Sparkles and somebody else. I don't know who it was. Oh, man. We are not having a good first day. This is a rough, rough prison. So even in free time, what do I want to do with that? That's solitary. We don't really need to be going in there. So we can't get through that door. We don't. Do we have any, like, outdoor time? I think we can get out into the grassy area just beneath us. But other than that, there's not a great deal going on. Let's try and find Noxite's desk. There it is. Speak of the devil. Been looking for that for a little while now. Let's see. Oh, it's not got it on him. Bugger. All right, I'm going to have to make a comb shiv and equip it and then kick the crap out of Noxite. Where is he? Noxite. I'd like to think that he'd be lurking around his own prison cell. I'll start to learn very quickly. There we go. Ooh, stop that Noxite. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. If I let the guards kick the crap out of him, then I can just loot him afterwards. Because I don't have to beat him down. That's not the mission. There it is. Gotcha. What else have you got? A razor blade. Ooh, yes, I would take that. Because people were telling me if I get timber, razor blade, and a wire, I can make some kind of, like, ridiculous 5 out of 5 weapon. Which actually seems really cheap to make. Like, those that come up pretty frequently from different people selling things. Right, who needed the beat down? It was Aaron that needed the beat down. Hello, Sir Aaron. Speak of the devil. Brian's an FBI informant. Wow. Treachery amongst the ranks. Um, let me see what I can do here. I really need to kind of pull you into a separate room, don't I? Let's see what we can do. Oh, he's trying to lose me. He's trying to lose me in the crowd. He knows I'm after him. We can't really fight outside either. Uh, very clever, Aaron. Very clever. Go where the snipers can see us. Oh, my God. I, I literally can't target him. <laughs> he's been stuck under those guys for ages. Where is he? Oh, I, I genuinely lost him. Aaron, where's he? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he gave me the slip. Oh, no, no, there he is. There he is. There you go. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. He's got way too much health. No, that's not working. Martin, desist. What are you talking about? It was clearly Aaron that was doing it. Oh, God. Aaron's orange to me now as well. He is not my friend. Well, that was uh, an eventful first day inside of the prison. <laughs> I honestly don't think there's anything that we can do uh, this evening that is going to help us out whatsoever. I don't think there were any items in the little stash part behind the buzz. So I guess that's where we're going to leave it there for today. We'll check what people are selling before we go to bed. Not that we can afford anything, but it's nice just to have a little bit of a window shop, isn't it? Foil, we could do with a baton. That would help us out massively. The comb shiv is isn't really getting us anywhere. Um, no, that's Officer Dan. That's Officer Neeson. That is Officer Turpin. None of those, thank you very much. I just want to go to bed, have this over and done with. I'll get your suggestions for methods of getting out of the prison and what things I should be looking out for around here and what jobs would be good as well. I guarantee you a job that isn't the janitor is going to be way better for my needs when it comes to this cell. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, in the next episode, I will be taking all of your tips on board and we're going to get started. A quick update on this as well before we go. My little uh, new hoodie. Uh, they sold really well yesterday. So thank you very much to everybody that picked one of those up. Um, there are mediums and extra larges still available. And just so you know, the medium is what would normally be large in other stores. It's like 38 to 40 inches, if that's right. I'm 38 to 40 inches. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah. Have a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow morning. Bye-bye!